Squirt, squirt up on that scene. Hop out engine looking clean. All right, what's up, guys? Poison here, and I'm back with another Payday 2 weapon impression because it's not really a review. It's the first time actually ever using this weapon. Today, we are taking a look at the cross kill guard pistol. So, let's take a look at how I have it modded. Um, haven't played this gun. I'm just assuming these would be the best mods. So, because I do have skills for increased damage with um, suppressors, I had to throw a suppressor on it. And, well, the jungle ninja suppressor is probably the best one. Second best by the um, Aspis suppressor, but the jungle ninja has better accuracy and stability. There is no boost. For gadget, I have a combined module. For grip, I have the ergonomic grip, which adds um, plus A stability. If you have the bling grip, it also does the same, just has that look to it. For magazine, I have the extended mag, which adds 24 or adds plus 4 rounds, changing it from 22 to 26. I do not have a sight on it because I actually do prefer these iron sights. And as for slide, I have the milled slide, which adds 4 stability. Without the milled slide, it looks like this. So, I kind of messed up. I said I preferred iron sights, even though truthfully I haven't used this gun, but if they're anything like normal cross kills, they're going to be pretty good and usable. But with the milled slide, this is what it looks like. Adds like these fish scales and a bunch of holes in it. So, this is a cross kill guard. So, if we compare it against a cross kill, it has better um, magazine, although I'm pretty sure I can increase this magazine even further if I want to. Yeah, the 27. Um, let's see. Let's go back to it real quick. It has more total ammo with 191. It has a rate of fire, greater rate of fire, less damage, unfortunately, less accuracy, more stability. Um, I don't know if 21 concealment is higher or lower than 20, but it has the same reload. But let's actually move on with the stats. It has base magazine size of 17. Oh, so I have plus four with the um, extended magazine, plus another five with the with some skills I have. It has a base ammo of 153. I have 191 thanks to some skills. Base rate of fire 480. I have 720 because of skills. Once again, 240 extra. Base damage 37. I have 56. Plus 19 with um, skills. Accuracy of 64. I have plus 4 with mod and plus 20 with skills, which equals out 88. Base stability of 60. I have plus 24 and plus 8 equals 92. Let's see. Base concealment of 30. I have minus 9. And Base threat of 8, I have a 0, with a reload of 2.21 seconds. So we're going to load up one heist to play with this gun, and then we'll come back in two days where we take a look at the Akimbo version, because if you guys remember my Grim uh, shotgun review, you guys will remember that the Akimbo worked a million times better than the Solo. So let's run this gun and see what it could do. So let's actually do a last can deal, because if you guys remember the um, where we played this level, it was actually like 13 minutes, and there was Bulldozer, so we are playing on Overkill. We are actually just going to bring our usual... No. See, it's kind of difficult. Yeah, we'll just bring our usual um, UAR. Got the cross-kill guard pistol. And our usual setup. You always see me rocking. So, overkill. We're going to see how well this weapon does. One thing I forgot to say in this... um, Where we took a look at this mission. Locke actually sells us out because he's a bitch. So, you'll see here in a minute. Sights actually look really good and really usable. So, that's a big positive. If you guys remember, you can also put a red dot sight if you don't like these sights, but I prefer this sight picture. So we got a bulldozer. 24, so... 26, um, what, 12 rounds? No, 11 rounds. We went down. Yeah, around like 12 rounds. 12 to 14 rounds, that's... Mulligan, huge mess up right here. We'll just continue on though. I like the rate of fire. Damage is kind of low compared to like a normal cross kill, but actually that shouldn't even affect it. Let's get out of here. We got to kill that dozer. Sorry, we're going to switch out to our main rifle here. Yeah, we're going to switch out to this real quick. I'm sorry. I just don't want to deal with a uh, dozer. That's instant kill, as we saw. So, we gotta make it onto the boat. We gotta free the hostages. Oh my god, we're just getting dozers after dozers, and Jimmy's getting tased, and it's just all bad. Jiro, I thought... Why did I say Jimmy? I don't even have Jimmy on my team. I always have Jiro, Bodie, and Sydney. My bad. Jiro got tased to death. 
We're probably gonna have to open up that thing. Yeah, I could use um the handgun to kill a dozer. It's not worth it, as you saw. We already went down. It's not really the best. It's a great pistol, great fire rate, great damage. You know, accuracy is nice. It's just I don't want to risk having to fight a dozer because we already saw the outcome. Yeah, 12 rounds. That's not a lot to get rid of him, but I just don't want to go down anymore. So one thing I've been loving since the lock and load heist event is the fact that um I thought we were supposed to get an achievement. Achievement unlocked. There was room for two. I saw General McBadass play this heist and doesn't go shoot the SWAT that is hanging on the door of the water. Oh my god. That's hilarious. There's the final one. So yeah. Um you know, I'm liking the pistol so far. I do like the cross kill. This one is a little bit better in my opinion. Sure, the damage is reduced. I believe it was like 56, as where the normal cross kill is 90. But the fire rate is good. Accuracy is good. You know, it's not a bad gun. I do like it, but I'm not sure if I would want to use it over the normal cross kill. Sure, having it increase some. Um, just an increase in ammo and everything is nice, but at the damage drop-off, I'm not really sure if it's worth it. But it is nice having compact pistols. I don't know, like, I think about this in real life as well. I kind of like compact pistols. They're nice. They look good. Mostly, they work the same. You know, especially in real life, you know, you just might miss a little bit of accuracy, but... In real life, bullets are going to be the same, regardless of what gun they're shot out of. If you shoot a 9mm out of an AR-15 or a handgun, it's going to be the same damage. It's not going to change. Just, you know, video games will change it just to make it even. We got some weapons over here. Oh, and we have the motor right here. Yeah, I'm really liking this gun, actually. This is a nice little handgun. I feel I'm going to enjoy the... um. Akimbo even more though. I like, see you can take out bulldozers. Oh shit, is that a black or green? That's a black dozer. You see, you can take out normal bulldozers. It's just you got to be kind of crazy to go against a bulldozer with a 45. Nice ammo pickup. Let's see. We'll check in a minute how much ammo pickup we have. So we have 150. We're going to pick up one. Okay, I picked up four rounds. It's kind of weak. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe that was just a one-time thing? Nope. Yeah, we got about four rounds. That's kind of meh. But you have all this ammo anyways. You could easily kill enemies and run around and get more. Yeah, you're pulling about like four to five rounds. That's kind of usual. Maybe not, actually. I'm pretty sure other handguns have an increased um, ammo pickup, but here we're just pulling four to five. Once again, not terrible, but also not preferred. I know with, like, the Judge Shotgun, you're only pulling, like, one shell per each pickup, which is understandable when you have, like, 221 damage, but, you know, it's just always nice to have increased ammo um, pickup. And I do have the skill for increased ammo pickup as well, and you're still only pulling a few. Now, definite, I like the way this gun's modded out. The way I have it is a good improvement. Um, definitely, you know, you could always add the red dot sight and you have a little bit more accuracy. But even these sights aren't bad. I do like these sights. Now, we're not even going to hunt for those uh, snowmen. I'm just trying to see if I see any. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. That's not... Bodhi didn't even care. I'm not sure if you guys heard him. Bodhi is just like, it's the dozer, boys. He was just like, whatever, it's not going to affect me. And we're finding way more stuff than we found when we played the sites for the first time. Wow. So, if you guys take a look at the um, video where I showed off the Alaskan deal, I said there might be other um, things to pick up. I wasn't sure. We are clearly finding here that we have four bags that we didn't have before. 
when we played this heist for the first time, we only picked up four bags. Here we already have four, plus the money bags if they're in here. Oh my god, these shotguns are killing me. I don't know where I'm running to. Yep, running to my death. So pretty soon we're going to have to go pick up an ammo bag. This is not the best, you know, not the best run I've had playing this game recently. Actually, the most downed I've been recently, too. So let's see, we already have four guns on top of the four money bags that might be in here. Not really sure. We're going to have to find out in a minute. Let's see, let's explore some more rooms. If there are any more rooms to explore, I don't really remember. So, nothing in here. Three shots to him. One. Oh, well, one shot, technically. Just depends on how accurate you are. Just open this up. Untie this guy. Yeah, that's just a quick heist. We already have money in here. Yeah, we got four bags of money, so... Okay, we got three bags of money. I guess, I don't know. Two bags of money. There should be one more briefcase somewhere. Let's see, I feel we're missing a briefcase, even though that's not even... Nope, not in there. Not on the floor, so... Oh, oh there it is. Yeah, so we got three things of money plus four guns. Not bad. Gun's not doing bad either. You just gotta make sure that your shots are lining up where they need to go. Oh my god, we might go down one more time. I hope not. Let's get that sniper out of the way first. Alright, so sniper gone. Shield gone. That's a dozer. We're gonna... Be a coward for a second. Oh, finally full health again. You know, we're just gonna run away. Get the money bags if I can. So, you know, cross skill guards doing good, actually. You know, I expect them to do fairly well. Definite, I do like them more than the um, normal cross kill, though. Although, it would be nice if they had the damage output of the normal cross kills, but even then, we have way more ammo. We have a quicker fire rate. Not exactly sure what the numbers are, but, you know, I shot it off earlier. So, let's just run past everything. Screw them. They're not real to us. They do not concern us. I'm liking them, honestly. They do have a spot in my mess around um, loadouts. Or my mess around games where I just decide, hey, let's just throw a random gun in. See what we can do. Now, one thing is you can't just straight out buy the mods. You have to unlock them first. You know, that's pretty much usual. Not unlock them, you have to be lucky and get them in. You know, like a payday or from uh, completing a challenge. So that's kind of a problem if, you know, if you can't... Well, every challenge should be doable, you know. Every once in a while they have an easy challenge to do and you could easily get mods. But second best bet to get mods for this um, weapon is just in the um, weapon pay... Or in the weapon loadouts. Um, in your paydays at the end. So already about 10 minutes in. It should take, what, a few minutes to get the, uh... Okay, sorry. Does anyone with a PlayStation also get, you know, like, spam, uh, bot messages? You know, now that I've gotten a PS4, I never got these spam messages on PS3, but now that I have a PS4, starting to get a lot of spam messages from, like, spam bots. It's kind of like, what the hell? Sorry, that's off-topic from this gameplay. I just, you know, I just get a message. My phone's, like, blowing up. I'm like, what is going on? 
But the cross kill guards, so far, they're doing their job. They're great. Well, definitely prefer a little more damage, but even with all the damage mods I have, you know, like pistol skills and suppressor skills, still at about 50 damage. Not really that bad, though. And there's probably even skills to make the damage, to have increased damage. I'm not really sure. Not really a pistol user. Let's see. If you could get your sight pictured right, then yeah, you've got headshots for days, you know. Accuracy, keep it up, and you're good. Definitely, you know, if you're not able to see the um, sights correctly, by all means, definitely put on a red dot sight. It would... It wouldn't even hurt the weapon, it would actually make it better. But not everyone is a fan of having, um, red dots. You know, I said I'm not gonna look for the, uh, snowman, but... We're just gonna see if we could get some. As long as the bulldozer doesn't come up here, we are good. Yeah, he's over there. It's fine. There should be another snowman here. There's supposed to be a snowman here. I don't know where he went. Once again, I'm just going off of the video I saw General McFadass play. And there's a snowman over here somewhere. We're not going to risk dying over it, though. But yeah. Oh, jeez. That's a dozer. Yeah, it took about maybe 14 rounds to kill a dozer earlier. Minimum of 11 rounds, but upwards of 14 rounds is what it took to kill a dozer. I guess it just depends on how lucky you are. If every shot hits dead center in his face, and yeah, 11 rounds. If not, 14. That took all of 22 rounds. So, you know, even with the base magazine, if you don't have the extended magazine, you still have enough rounds to kill a bulldozer. But extended magazine is not going to hurt the gun. And it's also highly recommended. Um, you know, definite mods, you know, extended magazine and a sight if you need it. But, you know, if you've been playing Payday 2 since launch, you're pretty much used to the cross kill. I'm trying to find that snowman. We got the sniper. Like, am I blind? Am I really just not seeing it? I know there's a snowman here. Oh, he's up there, actually, if I remember. Sorry, I'm just going to ignore the thing for a second. I just remember the snowman's over here. I sh shooting him in the head. There it is. I'm not sure how many snowmen there are. We're just gonna kill that one. Oh my Jesus. We gotta switch out. Yeah, we gotta run straight back to the train car, get some more health. I'm really hoping, you know, one of our guys to save us. If we die here, that's kind of unfortunate. But I don't see why anyone would go down, actually. Bodhi, you're gonna go down if you don't help me, bro. We barely got it seven seconds, so we're just gonna book it straight to the train real quick. I'm not gonna hit anyone. We're just gonna ignore everyone. I say as I shoot that guy in the face, but... Whatever, we always say stuff that's not always true. Now, I'm saying these handguns solo are great- Oh my Jesus. Solo handguns, great. Can't wait to try um, Akimbo. I can already see how well they're going to be. You know, even with a uh, grinder, you're still able to die. I feel that those are close to death. Always got to kill your medics.
Actually, I haven't even seen a full reload, so... Oh my god, that ammo pickup. Full reload, still not that long. Still really manageable, still pretty good. But, you know, there's really no point in taking a gun to fully empty. It's just going to add a few more seconds of a reload. You know, you think, oh, what's a few seconds? But you got to remember, seconds add up, especially when you're in a fight. Like, especially in a firefight, you want all your seconds to be firing. You don't want to waste any time reloading. You also don't want to waste time trying to find ammo. Who really just... Did it just auto-disconnect? Because no one's around. How did it disconnect? Yeah, it literally just auto-disconnected. Random. Random. So, that cloaker, realistically, maybe... Three shots if you shoot him straight in the face every time. That was going to take five, you know. The first three or four knocked him down. One more to the face would have ended him, but my teammate got sent first, so whatever. Also, I hope the microphone's sounding good. I'm using my uh, headset mic. I'm not using my uh, external mic right now. But then again, this is also the headset I usually use on um, the Elgato anyway, so whatever. Pretty usual. Kind of upset because I also found out my uh, lavalier mic doesn't work to record. Only it works on my phone, so that kind of sucks, but... There's always a way to record stuff. Especially audio. But yeah, this gun's pretty much speaking for itself, especially here. Let's see. Headshot. Two shots to the head to kill, you know, those armored enemies. But this is a nice little spray and pray gun. You can spray it easily too, might I add. Oh, I got, oh, I got down by Cloaker, so it's not that bad. Now if I got down by the taser, it'd be pretty bad. Yeah, this gun could easily be spammed, but... Here's the thing, you can't, like, full auto spam it in a sense. Like, full auto spam, you could get lucky and just spray into a group and you'll get some kills. Here, you know, single shot weapon, you gotta be more luck-based with your spraying. But nice, accurate little handgun. Might I also add, along with the normal cross kill, this gun is free if you have Payday 2 on PC. Not sure when or if it'll come to um, systems. You know, I know like the console versions are a little behind compared to PC. I mean, you you know, console players are getting um, updates frequently. You know, and they're getting a lot of new stuff in their updates. Still gotta add a lot of old stuff though. And then we got these guys basically just jerking each other off and reviving themselves. Not easy to keep enemies off the boat if you're, you know, rocking, you know, semi-auto only. Yeah, so it should take two shots. It should take two shots to kill those guys. I say as I shoot them in one shot. Never mind. You know, basically one shot will be taking down a lot of enemies. Pretty usual. I don't see why we can't take the take off on the boat with enemies still on here. You know, simple simply speaking, you know, take off with the enemies on here and just um you know kill them and throw them off the boat. But you know, here we got we just gotta switch out to our secondary. We can't be wasting time anymore. To finish the mission, we gotta get rid of all the cops. So we're just gonna full auto spray and pray real quick. Oh, 
Now his gun doesn't have um, a fast reload either. Like I know with the UAR, I have a magazine that gives me faster reload. That's not possible at the moment. They might add it later on. Not really sure. So, we got whatever's over here left. All cops should be off. We should be able to go. You see, all cops are gone. There's numb up here. There we go. So, cross scale pistol. Let's see how many kills did we get. It. We got 243. Maybe like 190 kill cross kill guard. Pretty good. Honestly, I do like it, and I imagine, you know, with it being a basically a shortened down version of the cross kill, probably good with stealth. I'm not really sure. Um, not really going to attempt it either. If you guys use this gun for stealth, let me know if it's good. I'm saying, I imagine it would be. Most, like, shortened down versions of a gun would be better for stealth because, you know, they're smaller. Talking realistically in the real world, I'm not really sure. So, yeah, let's just go back, see stats one more time. Definite decrease in uh, damage, but definite increase in ammo, rate of fire, everything. So, cross kill guards, even though they're weaker, I do prefer them over the normal cross kill. So, yeah, guys, until next time, have an awesome day. I'll see you guys in two days where we take a look at the Akimbo versions. Then, after we're done with the Akimbo versions, we're going to take a look at the um, new heist. So, yeah, guys, have an awesome day. Thank you for watching. Bye.